In this video, I'm going to explain why price action is the most important thing that you should look at when you are trading an asset. In this case, as you can see, I'm trading the Bitcoin US dollar uh, pair here. And this is a clean chart without indicators, without volume, without anything. And what you can see here is two things, the X axis, that is the time, and the Y axis, that is the price. So in reality, when you are trading a coin, a token or a stock, the only thing that you are looking at is the price of this stock in a given time, in a given time frame, in a given period. OK, so in reality, for trading, the only thing that you should look at is the price action, what the price is doing, because when you begin trading, when you are a beginner trader, it's easy to get lost trying to find the best indicator. What is the indicator that is going to give me the buy or sell signal to make my trades, to rely on for making decisions? So every beginner trader, myself included in the past, many years ago when I began trading, I was looking for the right indicator that prints a green signal here to buy and then a red signal there to sell. Okay, And obviously I was trying to nail the bottom or the support to buy and nail the top or the resistance to sell. And once you begin more experience in trading and once you have more hours in front of the charts, you begin to realize that all these indicators and all these, you know, algorithmic trading or uh, systems, trading systems that so many traders or influencers try to sell you are not a scam, but are not profitable as they market, as they say and in reality to be a profitable trader and to trade correctly the only thing that you should look at is price okay because if you think about indicators okay if you think for example about indicators here i have my indicators that i use i have for example order blocks i have the mob indicator the emas okay these indicators um show me the liquidity that is injected in stable coins in the market okay but these indicators, for example, also use the volumes. OK, but for example, here I have the RSI indicator to make you an example. And here the RSI was in the overbought zone at this area here and the price keeps pumping. OK, so that what is telling you that indicators as are a derivative of the price. So indicators, what, when you have an indicator loaded into your trading view chart, is a derivative of the price. This indicator, the signal that this indicator is printing in your chart for you to buy or to sell, if you rely on these indicators, are just based on what the price is doing. RSI is taking into account the price. The EMAs, this EMAs, the, the blue line is the 200 EMA, the blue line but the um, shallow one is the 100 EMA, okay? This is the 21, uh, the 12 and the 21, okay? These EMAs are taking into account the last, for example, 200 EMA is taking into account the last 200 daily candles to print these points, okay? So indicators are a derivative of the price. I think that, for example, there are leading indicators such as volumes, okay? In this case, I'm using the relative volume, the air, air ball. You can find a complete video where I explain how to use the relative volume here in my, on my channel. So type relative volume trading soldier and you will find it. I have two videos already explaining how to use relative volume. But for example, volume is a leading indicator because it shows you in the actual candle what the strength is doing because price is showing you the action okay where is being rejected and where is finding supports accept, acceptance or resistance okay but volume is showing you the actual strength on these moves on the on the price so price is showing you the moves the waves the action that is doing the movements of the price in the asset but volume is showing you the actual strength of these moves so for example in my opinion and based on my experience and on my trading system, volume is a good indicator to rely on because it's showing you the strength of the actual movement that the price is doing. But this is diverging from the topic that I want to cover today. The topic that I want to cover today is that for you to understand trading 
and for you if, you, if you're a beginner trader, you should not rely on indicators because uh, uh, indicators are a derivative of what the price is doing and has already done. And usually, if you are not trading with open interest or with volumes, as I said before, or CVDs, for example, you are relying on paste data because indicators are getting data from the past to print a signal in the present. And this is lagging signals. These are lagging signals. So you are not taking the actions in the present moment. So if you have to rely in one indicator or two indicators, they need to be leading indicators such as volume, open interest, CVDs, okay? This kind of volumes or indicators that are leading, that are in the present moment, are showing you what is already happening in this exact moment in the market, are the good indicators, okay? But you should not rely on lagging indicators and in indicators. Indicators are just a confluence tool, a confirmation bias. So you should analyze the price, what the price action is doing, print your support and resistance levels or supply and demand areas, okay? And then rely on your indicators such as RSI, EMAs, to find confluence, to find the confluence between what you already seen with your price action, let's say trading strategy or with your price action analysis or bias, and then rely on the indicators to confirm this bias or to find divergences between between your price action and this bias but i think that before beginning to trade you need to get rid of the idea of finding the um, the one indicator that is going to make you a profitable trader there is not a one or two or three or a combination of four or five indicators that are going to give you buy and sell signals and you are going to be a profitable trader be, without understanding a lot of concepts, supply and demand, liquidity, okay, price action, volumes. There is a lot of theory and not also theory, practice, because you need to have a skin on, in the game and experience in the market to begin a good trader and being profitable. So you need to get rid of the idea of finding the one indicator that is going to make you profitable or make the gains or give you the correct buy and sell signals. Okay, you should use indicators, but you should not use indicators as as 99% of the traders use indicators. 99% of the traders use indicators to find the correct spot to buy and to sell without having any knowledge on the market. No, indicators are just a tool, a confluence tool that they need to strengthen or weaken your previous analysis that you did based on the price and the liquidity in the market. And I have a lot of videos here in my channel explaining you how to find support and resistance or supply and demand areas. You can find here in my channel a lot of videos explaining you how to read price action, okay? How to identify support and resistance area, how to find liquidity in the chart, okay? So you need to learn these concepts before and then finding the indicators to make valid your initial analysis in price action. So that's the, the topic that I wanted to cover today in this video because I think that price action is the most important thing when you're trading because as I said in the beginning of the video, when you look at a chart, a clean chart, the only thing that you have is time in the X axis and in the Y axis is price. And when you are actually buy buying a coin or selling a coin, you are, you are buying at a price. You are not buying an indicator, you are not buying a... EMA cross, you are not buying an RSI oversold or over both. You are not buying this. You are buying Bitcoin at 50K or 58K or 70K. You are buying and selling. And a market is just this, a place where traders buy and sell at a given price. We not, give, we not buy and sell because an indicator gives us a signal, okay? And Usually, as I said before, these signals are delayed signals. Delayed signals based on price action. You need to rely on price action to make your trading decisions and on leading indicators. Leading indicators. The keyword here is leading, not lagging. And this is a concept that you need to study. What are lagging indicators 
and living, living indicators. I will make, this is, now I had an idea to make a future video explaining what's a leading indicator and a lagging indicator. This way, also you can benefit from that knowledge. So, as I always said, if you like the video, leave me a comment here in the comment section and I will try to answer your questions the best that I, that I can. This way, I can help you to understand better these concepts if, if, if you have any doubt on this topic or on this matter that I cover on this video. And also, as you should know, you can follow me on Twitter or X where I post my daily analysis on the market, my daily trading ideas, my daily news that I consider relevant for the market. So if you follow me there for free, you will be benefit from my almost my trading journal because there I post my, my analysis, my ideas, my, my news, everything. So basically it's a follow up of the market that I do on Twitter because it's more quick to me to post there rather than making a video because a video has uh, like editing and everything. So follow me on Twitter because there is a lot of value that you are going to get there for free from my analysis and my, the charts that I post and the comments that I, that I make there. And also you can find me on Rumble and on Instagram if you want to see more personal stuff. So thank you for your time and we we'll see you in the next video.